Hi, I'm Liam from White Rose Education. Throughout our schemes, you will see many representations. Often these have been included to show the structure of the maths or enable children to make connections and deepen their understanding. Occasionally, in our adaptable teaching slides, a range of representations have been used, as we know some schools will be more familiar with one resource than another. I will often adapt the teaching slides to show a resource that my children are comfortable with when we're covering a new topic and use multiple resources when I'm extending my children by asking them to make connections. Watch this clip of the children in the classroom. What do you notice about how the teacher uses the representations and how this affects the children's understanding of the concept being taught? OK, good morning, you two. We are going to be today learning how to add by making 10. OK, so the first thing I'd like to show you is two different representations. This is my first representation. I've got a 10 frame and some counters. And then I've got a second representation with my number line. So the first thing I'd like you to do is I would like you to have a think about this question. And my question is, what do you notice? And in a second, you're going to speak to your partner and you're going to say, I notice and have a think about any similarities or any differences, okay? Off you go, talk to the person next to you. I notice there was colours that were and that. Okay, three, two and one. Who's got their legs crossed facing this way? Oh, you look super smart. Okay, right, who can tell me then? Hands up, what do they notice? What have you noticed? Yes, what do you notice? Um, I noticed that four add one equals five and one add four equals five and you can and you can switch round. Okay, so you've noticed that there are four yellow counters, add one more in the tens frame, but you've also noticed you've added four and then one more on the number line. Super, well done, thank you. Okay, what do you notice? I notice that there's five yellow counters and there's six and there's six red counters and all together it makes 11. The 10 frame was used to support and scaffold the children's understanding of the decimal number system and the importance of making 10. This is then reinforced by the jump shown on the number line. Throughout our teaching slides, you may see a variety of representations. For example, 10 frames, base 10, place value charts, number shapes and place value counters. We've included these as they can help children understand the concept being taught. We know multiple representations can sometimes overwhelm children. Due to this, I often adapt our teaching slides and use a consistent representation where it is appropriate to the mathematical concept being taught. Thank you for watching and subscribe for more videos like this one.